Well, hello everyone. Bart Vatswabik here, Volaire Sim. Today we're doing a uh, VFR flight from Grand Canyon. That's right, Grand Canyon to Las Vegas. This is really exciting because guess what Santa brought? And it's not even Christmas. SciTech sent us some six FIPs, flight instrument panels. These are, these are awesome. They really are pretty cool. You know, I was really skeptical about these panels because I've read some, you know, lukewarm reviews on Amazon.com about them, but they really work awesome. They are really not very laggy at all. Um, they have not decreased any of the frame rates and they're just freaking awesome. I really love them. And look, you've got your six instrument panels, you've got your airspeed, in, airspeed indicator, you've got your um, uh, you know, artificial horizon, altimeter, turn coordinator. Uh, I've got, I, I'm a big proponent of an HSI, so I've got an HSI and obviously the uh, VSI. So I've got them all connected to the Volarsim chassis and I'm just doing my IFR flight. And of course, I'm doing it on uh, pilotedge.net because obviously that's what we do to stay sharp and stay current. And to boot, I've got my core flight connected to it and I'm going to miss my turn here if I don't turn in a little bit. So I might have to pause it for a second and change my course. Uh, because I'm approaching this uh, Peach Springs VOR oh, what the here. Hey, I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm approaching this VOR, right? So my DME is showing 2.8 miles from the VOR. So I need to turn outbound on a heading 290. So what I'm gonna do is I've already dialed in on my HSI heading of 290. I'm gonna hit a heading mode here. And boom, I am turning. And then obviously I'm going to turn my HSI we're heading off two nine or zero. Now you ask me why are you are first doing a heading mode and only then uh, you are selecting your nav mode and the reason for that is there's a very good reason for that and the reason for that is the uh, autopilot in the flights Microsoft flight sim is uh, somewhat sensitive and it will oscillate you know back and forth um, you know if you are really close to the VOR so what I like to do is, if I'm uh, flying outbound on a VOR, first fly in a heading mode and see how my HSI coming in. Once this whole thing stabilizes, I'll put it back into the nav mode. So as you uh, see, I have to I had to relocate some things once I got this wonderful Christmas present. Uh, I had to move my backlit instrument panel, the BAP. You know, it was mounted here on top of the uh, the side tech yoke, and I moved it right on top of the uh, the autopilot panel. Uh, or multi-function panel. So no big deal. I still get a great view. You know the Volare sim allows you to move the whole monitors up and down So all I did is I just moved the monitors just up a little bit and then um, you know problem solved So uh, you know I can still kind of see over the over the dash if you will over the aircraft so it's almost like uh, Almost like flying a real airplane. Well, not almost. It's it's very close to like flying a real, real airplane. It's uh, it's utterly 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 realistic right now. And I get to turn my gauges here. I got my heading mode here, and I've got my uh, OBS, you know, or course mode here with this left one. And last but not least, I need to tell you guys about this uh, guy Philippe. Philippe, who is the guy that has made this wonderful replacement gauges. So as you know, Satek out of the box doesn't come with a really good, uh, well, I would just say, as nice of the gauges. They're, the gauges are nice, but they're not as nice as these. So I've just swapped them out. So uh, not to knock Satek because they did send me those gauges for evaluation after all. So I'm still very grateful. But um, Philippe, and I will put the name of the gentleman and his link on the website, on the YouTube video, so you guys can download it because he he's done a marvelous work. I mean, these are Bendix Kings Avionics, basically what you get in uh, an aircraft, as opposed to you know some kind of a generic one. So I am just kind of dialing in my heading mode so I can recapture this 290 radial outbound, as you can see. I'm kind of doing it manually so I can show you how this whole thing looks like. But, you know, it works really great. I was really afraid, you know, you put these six gauges, you're running the six monitors to boot, you know, and you're thinking, my gosh, you're going to add these six gauges, this thing is going to crawl down to the hole. So, what are my, what are my uh, frames per second? Well, I have it locked in 25 frames per second, because I just feel like, hey, that's good enough. 
and you know this thing has not slowed down one bit so what you need to do is just download the latest and greatest drivers from Cytec and once you do that then you're gonna be in a good shape so now this uh, the heading or the course I'm uh, sorry the sorry is coming in and this thing is gonna start turning back to uh, to get that uh, radio captured Let's see if that works or not because I've got autopilot enabled and I've got nav and altimeter and look it's it's doing its job it's we're turning you look at the, uh, the artificial horizon we are tu uh, uh, it's turning so it's great um, you might ask what kind of scenery are you running well there's only one answer for that it's the mega scenery it's just unbelievable you know I fly on pilots edge so it's all the uh, SoCal and uh, Las Vegas areas and everything so all you gotta do is just download this stuff it'll make your flying so much better and um, to boot you know I last my YouTube video I told you how to link the iPad with this so look I've got my airplane here on iPad that's linked with the flight sim so essentially what I've got is I've got a multi ten thousand dollar flight sim for thirty four hundred dollars that's right this is what it costs to, to, uh, uh, to buy this assuming you have to buy everything from scratch the monitors, computers, yoke, pedals, the Volarsim, obviously. $3,400 without these gauges. $3,700 with the gauges. So there is no way you can buy this anywhere else and build it this way for this kind of a price point. It's impossible. And you've got a basically a state-of-the-art training device with Pilot Edge, with the gauges, with everything you do like you do in a real airplane for a very, very low price, essentially. You got it for a price what it used to cost to buy a computer just a few years ago. And I'm talking that with the three monitors too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to pause it before ATC just boots me out of Pilot Edge because they're probably going to be calling me in a minute. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you are really thinking about those FIPs, those flight instrument panels, get them. They're worth it. I love them. I could not imagine flying without them. You might want to just get Philippe's uh, replacement gauges for these. Uh, so they look a little better and they fill the whole screen, but they really work well. I think the people that are complaining about them, they simply don't know how to uh, install them properly. Uh, Bart Vatswavi, Volersim. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us on www.volersim.com. Thanks.